Glory to God. It's the book Sanjay. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus, and we thank you, Holy Spirit. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing and are exceedingly glad. For there is no one like you, and no one can compare to you. We give you honor, we give you glory, we give you worship, we give you thanksgiving. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Father, we welcome you. Jesus, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. We thank you, O God, for your angels. Father God, we command the angels from the east, the west, the north, and the south to stand and guard around this home in the name of the Father, to be a guard in this community, to be your guard upon the nation in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you for your word says, this is the day that the Lord has made and we are rejoicing and are exceedingly glad. We thank you, O oh God, for John 3.16. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen and amen. We welcome you, sir. In Jesus' mighty name, El. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. There is none like you, dear Lord. There is none like you. No one can do our hearts for Jesus like you do. We can search for all eternity, Lord. There is none like you. There is none like you, dear Lord. There is none like you. No one can do all hearts for Jesus like you do. We can search for all eternity. Lord, I know we're fine. There is none like you.
Lord, he brings to you, saints. Hallelujah. Lord, don't let me see the way I used to be. Remove the scars of thy follow all the pain I ask of you this day, Lord. Wounds of my shame, bind them up in your great Forgetful sea, take away all the strife that followed a wasted life. Try to build on the dust of a foolish dream. Don't the corridor of time, don't let Open let them come to your mind. And if all the world should recall, don't let me remember them at all. And if all the world should recall, don't let me see. You know, I tend to discuss a little something before. If I should shift among all the ashes of the bridges, that would burn, oh Lord, on my way back to you. Don't let me find one single thing among the ruins that I could find that could bring to my mind one memory. I'm just pointing up to the sun and sun. Glory to God. But Lord, don't let me see. That's my prayer today, Lord. The way I used to be, remove the scars. My Lord, I follow all the pain I ask of you in Jesus' name. Wounds of my shame, Lord, be by them up in your great name. Cast them all in forgetting see I ask of thee my Lord take away all the strife that followed a wasted life try to build on the dust of a foolish dream on the corridor of time corridor of time don't ever let me come to the come to my mind. And if all the world should recall, don't let me remember them at all. And if all the world would recall, don't let me see my Lord my God. And if all the world would recall, don't let me see. When the potter gathers up the broken pieces, praise the Lord, of a vessel that he wishes to make. He doesn't put it back together like a puzzle, oh no, but on the potter's wheel. He molds it again. Can I sing the verse one more time? That's my testimony. Hallelujah. When the potter gathers up the broken pieces of anyone's life, mine especially, of a vessel which he wishes to make that speaking and more God putting us on the potter's wings, he doesn't put it in back together like a puzzle oh no but on the potter's wheel he molds it again I love that verse when the potter gathers up the broken pieces in his loving caring hand of a vessel 
And if I go, 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 the world should recover. Go, 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 go. Please don't let me see he, he, so I can move on with you. Pressing towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. Go, 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 go. I just try not to, uh, especially to start a service on a sad note. And I don't think I'm sad. I think that we need to be open and uh, let the Lord have his precious way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. I read the Gospels over and over. And like John said, that the, self, the many things that Christ did, Jesus did, was so many of they were to write about all of his doings. The books of the world he reckoned would not be able to hold them. And I could see breaking as I read the scripture and I wondered where a few days or some weeks or maybe some months went. And I said, Lord, Paul says everything we need to know is in the book, but whatever else needs to reveal, yes. you reveal them to us. And yes, John said everything is not written, so I need some more information. So yes, Lord. He, he caused me to read two books that were very, under, and that book of allegories. As Apostle David Hill always said that those Jews are able to write really good spiritual things and they can imagine things and all that. But then the Lord ever read the third book thoroughly once and twice and then he referred to the Lord walking past a dump and I'm referring to myself now. And when this past this dump, there was a child lying in the dump that apparently gone there, went there and dumped eat with the fragments of foods and all those things. The child had gone there to find some sustenance and the child must have been very hungry and or the stench of the dump had gotten into her system and poisoned her system and she was lying there fainting, fainting. The Lord came by the book said, this is not in the Bible. <laughs> and he picked the child up, held the child in his arm, opened the child's eyes. And he must have been breathing on the child because his breath is spirit. Yes, but he looked at the child, opened the child's eyes, put the child back down on the dump in her fainted state. Oh and he walked away and there was a Pharisee's son mm -hmm. that saw him did it and perceived he to be a Pharisee because of his dressing and everything. And the, and the Pharisee's son looked at Jesus Christ with a scorn who went into a dump and picked up a raggedy child, lifted the child, hoped the child's eyes, breathed in the child, put the child down. And by that was happening, the child was getting life gradually and got up and started playing with the other children. But the Lord looked around on the Pharisee's son, the name is written in the book, and he looked him in his face and judged him for his behavior until he became literally technically psychologically and literally blind he had to be led away for a few days he was in the state of mind the lord let him know you don't judge me for taking up a little child this stuff that's a pharisee behavior it's my responsibility to love what well, i am one of other child god. that jesus christ came god. Yes. Down of life. Yes, pick me up mm. breathe of me hope in my eyes and set me on my way. So as I was singing and re singing this song and trying to prepare for the service, that memory of that story in that book came back to me. So this morning, after whatever time it is, I'm not rushing, as I always say, if you don't mind, I want to sing this song again. It's my petition and my supplication to the Lord. This might be an example for others who need to go to the Lord and just confess and say, Father, remember when you picked me for the dump. I need you to set me in my way rejoicing. Yes. Hallelujah. Can I have some point my hands? Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. And this song was sung by Jimmy Swobert, one gentleman that God sent into my life at a time when I needed consolation and help in the most confused part of my previous life. I did not understand what was happening. I was fasting and praying like crazy. I was doing the fourth watch. I started in the fourth watch when I was over 24 when I got into my first marriage. And I've been seeking the Lord for many years and I couldn't understand what was happening. And he sent Jimmy Swagger to Jamaica. That man brought a deliverance. He brought one song to me that was my consolation all through the times until the Lord did for me. 
Hallelujah. Praise God. Was this song? I've heard it sung it and I've listened to it many times. And this morning, today I feel all the weekend that I need to sing this petition to the Lord. Maybe someone is enjoying me in their situation. This is praise God. Hallelujah. When the potter gathers up the broken pieces of all life, my brothers and sisters, of a vessel, us, that he wishes, he wishes to make. He doesn't put it back together like a puzzle of a wood, no. But on the potter's wheel, he molds us again. That is us we start talking about. Yes, but Lord, don't let us see the way we used to, to be. Please remove the scars or the furrows, the pain that we experience, Lord. Hallelujah. Wounds of our shame. Please to bind them up in your great name. Cast them all into your forgetting sea. The sea of forgetfulness, dear Lord, take away all the strife yes, Lord. that followed a wasted life. Try to build them on the dust of a foolish dream. Just an empty space of time Somewhere in the corner of my mind And if all the world should recall Don't let me see yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. If I should sit among the ashes That I burned all over my way back to you Don't let me find one single thing among the ruins, dear Lord, I pray. That could bring to my mind one memory of my past. Lord, I'm depending on you. Grant my petition. I ask of you. I'm hiding in that part of my heart, oh glory. But Lord, my God, please don't let us ever see the way Raggedy remove the scars, my Lord, the followers, all of pains, my God. Wounds of our disappointment and shame, please buy them up in your great name. Cast them all into your forget it, see. Do it once and for all, we pray you take away. All the strife, yes, Lord. The follow a wasted life, for more try to build on the dust of a foolish dream. Yes, Don't the corridor of time. Don't let them ever come back to our mind. And before the world should recall. Don't let me remember them at all, and if all the world should recall. Don't let me see, my Lord, don't let me see. And if all the world should recall, don't let me see, Lord, I love your holy name. And if all the world should recall, don't let me see, I pray today, my God, uh, hallelujah, handy fall to the 8th of January, 2023, hear this word, grant my petition, Lord. And if oh, 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 the world shall recall, please buy my eyes to them, I, 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 Hi, 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 hi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is good. Oh, I don't have the verse, but this song is in my spirit. Yes, Lord. All my life long. 
Salomon was searching for a drink from some clear stream that I hope would quench the burning yes, Lord. of the first yes. I felt worthy. But hallelujah, if mount from the Savior, who my soul so long have craved. Jesus satisfies my longing. Oh my God, I want to sing it one more time. Jesus himself satisfies Solomon a king's longing. Jesus satisfies my longing through his blood. And now I'm saved. Hallelujah. Jesus satisfies all longing through his blood and now we're saved. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us. You're the living water. Never dying. Fountain, comforter and counselor, take complete control. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Please live inside of us. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Fill us with your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here in your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of me one more time. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Fill me with your presence. Fill me with your power. Live inside of me and like this last part. You're the living water, never drying fountain, comforter and counselor. Please, Lord God, take complete control. 
Welcome, Holy Spirit, be here with your praise. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us, and we sing this part again. You're the living water, the never drying fountain. Comforter and counselor, take control. We ask of thee, welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power, live inside of me. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power, live inside of us. Welcome, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Be here with your praise. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us. You're the living water, the never dying, dry fountain. Lord, your comforter and counselor. Please, Lord Jesus, Holy Spirit. Take complete control. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Be here with your presence. Fill us with your power. Live inside of us. Hallelujah. For the last morning, the Lord want me to worship. Hallelujah. And this song I'm having in front of me was the song that came to my spirit to begin worship with. And I remember attending the Anglican Church, and the Baptist, and the Presbyterian, and some of these churches have what we call the pipe organ. The pipe organ itself is a building, so the building, I would call it the name it. And when those harmonious musical combinations start to fill the place and the people start to sing, I never want those services to over. And unfortunately, the services only go for an hour and a half. But this is one of the songs I gleaned from attending these churches, especially when I was in camp away from my church atmosphere. And we go to church from camp. It says, Good morning, Gilbert's Christ. I'm going to do my best to sing it. I praise unto the Lord. When morning gives the skies, my heart awake and cries. May Jesus Christ be praised. In all who work and prayer, we ask His loving care. May Jesus Christ be The word on I, the host of angels cry, may Jesus Christ be praised. Let mortals to appraise their voices and hymns of praise, may Jesus Christ be praised. Let herds white circle round in joyful no tree sound. May Jesus Christ be praised. Let air and sea and sky from depth to height reply. May Jesus Christ be for those days. Be this when day is past of all our faults the last. May Jesus Christ 
be praised. The night becomes a day, the night becomes a day, when from the heart we say, May Jesus Christ be praised. Then let us join to see the Christ our loving King. May Jesus Christ be praised. Be this eternal song through all the ages long. May Jesus Christ be praised. Hallelujah. Don't start that singing song. This morning I was wandering in my thought towards areas I don't belong. Hallelujah. And the Lord said, May Jesus Christ be praised. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. to the Lamb of God. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm kind of trying to lose one of them. Yes, Lord. I wandered in the shades of night and Jesus came to me. And with the sunlight of it melted all the darkness be. Sunlight, sunlight in my soul today. Hi, hi, hi. Sunlight, sunlight all along the narrow way. Since my Savior found me, took away my old sin, I am had a sunlight in my soul within. The clouds may gather in the sky and billows roll to roll. However dark the world may be, I have sunlight in my soul. Sunlight, sunlight in my soul today. Hi, hi, hi. Sunlight, sunlight. Light, all along the narrow way, since my Savior found me, took away my Lord of sin, I have had a sunlight in my soul to say. I crossed the wide extended fields, I journeyed o'er the plain, and in the sunlight of his love I read the golden grain. Sunlight, sunlight, in my soul today. Sunlight, sunlight, all along the narrow way, since my Savior found me, took away my Lord of sin, I've got some light in my soul today. So I shall see my Jesus, the light that came to me, behold the brightness of his face throughout eternity. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Sunlight, sunlight in my soul today. Sunlight, sunlight all along the narrow way. Since my Savior found me, took away my Lord of sin, I've had a sunlight in my soul today. While I cross the wide extended fields, I journey o'er the plain. And in the sunlight of his love, I read the golden grain. I hide my like sunlight, like sunlight in my soul today. Sunlight, sunlight, all along the narrow way. Since my Savior found me, took away my Lord of sin. Well, I have got a sunlight in my soul today. Last verse, baby. Hallelujah. And soon I shall see him as he is the light that came to me. Behold the brightness of his face throughout. Throughout eternity, 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 eternity. <laughs> sunlight, sunlight in my soul today. Sunlight, sunlight all along the narrow way. Since my Savior found me, took away my Lord of sin. I have had a sunlight in my soul today. Brothers and sisters, sunlight, 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 sunlight in my soul today. I die. Sunlight, sunlight, sunlight all along the narrow way. Since my Savior found me, took away my Lord. 
Someone but has had this sunshine in my soul from Christ's heart to mine. Okay, we're going to find it, which one? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some implode says. I implode the day first. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let us sing one of our songs that we have recorded to you. We sang it last. You can sing so sweet. We want to sing it again. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hallelujah. Thank 
you, Jesus. Wow. My main face song, glory to God. My wife wants me to dance, so she did dance to praise God. I've seen the light. Oh, Calvary is found for me, Jesus. 
Jesus. They pierce inside his hands and his feet. Oh, for me, he opened the fountain. The cream sun claims it high, high, high. Oh, for me and for you, he's waiting here in glory. Seated upon his throne. Hi, 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 hi. He promised never to leave me, never to leave me alone. No, 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 no. Yeah. 
their cores inside of Hallelujah. Join with all nature in many fold with them. To thy great faithfulness, mercy.
Oh, let the fragrance spread of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even now, please breathe. Let us on our audience here, Lord. Oh, won't you near kindness breathe? Holy Ghost, fire deep within the caverns of our souls. Oh, Lord, God, please agree. Breathe within the recesses of all your minds, we pray. Oh, let the bread of God now breathe. Can I breathe one more time? On us. Holy Spirit, come and breathe. We didn't cry if you heard your Holy Spirit. Yes, come and breathe. Holy Ghost, fire deep within the caverns of our souls. Oh, let the breath of our God. El Helian, now breathe. Oh, from your soul, deep in our souls, Lord. Oh, Lord, please breathe. Deep in our spirits, hearts, and minds, we pray today. Lord, let, let the Holy Spirit breathe on us. Let the breath of God now breathe. Can I sing it quietly? One more time. Oh, let it breathe on us, Lord. Can you please come by? One breathing of your breath upon us, we pray, dear Lord. All of the breath of the Lord Jesus Christ. Even right now, we breathe and we give that Lord God upon us. Oh, let him breathe. Holy Ghost, fire deep in our hearts and minds and soul. Let him breathe and breathe himself within us, we pray, dear Lord. All of the breath. Of God, oh, 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 oh. now breathe, breathe the everlasting spirit deep within our hearts and souls, so that your name will be glorified and self will die, and you alone will be seen. Here comes the woman of God with the prior and the one verse of what gives her to do. Welcome, Prophet Eskisha, and God bless you. Thank you, what you said, sir. Praise the Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. All we have needed, thy hand have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Mama. Lord, unto me. Sing it again. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies we see. Father, for there is no one like you, and no one can compare to you. We thank you, Allah, Father, for you are the great I am. You are our omnipotent God. You are our omniscient God. You are our omnipresent God. You are our Jehovah Jireh. You are our El Shaddai. You are our Jehovah Rapa. You are our Jehovah Nisi. You are our Banner. 
We thank you, O God, that you are the great I am. You are God and you are God alone, all by yourself. We give you honor. We give you worship. We give you thanksgiving. We give you the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your sovereign God Amen. over mankind. Your sovereign God over the airways. Your sovereign God over the universe. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you thanksgiving. I'm going to calm myself down because we have not yet done worship, the prayer, worship, worship, but worship. I am going to bring forth the prayer today. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We give honor to the Father who is the great I am. We give honor to Jesus who is the word and we give honor to the Holy Spirit who is our comforter. We thank you and we read all I give reverence and honor to my husband, Minister Solomon Elkana Vassal. Glory to God and I give honor to my dear spiritual father, our spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor. Thank you Lord for his commission. Thank Thank you, O oh God, for his mission to save America and to save the uttermost part of the world. Thank you, O oh God, for sending him in this generation, for this time, for this dimension, for this realm. Praise be to God. We thank you, O oh God, that you're looking for a man, a man after God owns Amen. heart, Amen. a man that worship you in spirit and in truth. We thank Thank you, O oh God, for your search at man's heart yeah. today for his faithfulness, for their faithfulness unto you. Glory to God. And I must give honor to my mother, Miss Norma Green. Glory to God. I love you dearly. I thank God for choosing you to be my mom <laughs> for this time and this season. I could have been dead, but I thank God for preservation, for preserving my life over these last 44 years on earth and I thank God that he will continue to sustain me and preserve me and my children's children children and my husband's children's children children and for those that are watching I want to speak into your life thus saith the Lord the Lord is going to preserve you and your family amen, amen, you amen. and your children children amen. children amen, amen, amen. from generation to generation Generation. Our life is forever preserved Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I give honor to my mother-in-law, Mrs. Louise Vassal, who is right now in Jamaica. And yes, she is connected with her son, my husband, Minister Solomon Elkana Vassal, the eldest of 12 man of God. Minister Vassal is living in the exceedingly abundantly more than we can ever ask or think. He is the first, praise God, and I give honor for his life, for his mission, for his commission, and for all that God has planned for him and his children, for his ministry, for his marriage, for everything that is on this earth. Today, we are going to decree and declare we are walking into our blessing 2023 is going to be a year for minister vassal's children for redemption and salvation 2023 is going to be the year for my children, for Zelovine and Anthony, and for all the lineages that are represented here. 2023, we're going to see our children delivered, Amen. saved, and set free in the mighty name of Jesus. If he has done it for us, he will do it for you too. I give honor to Minister Crystal Glenn, who is so faithful. Praise be to God, our dear kingdom sister, our prophetess, our great battle axe, our prayer warrior, and our true friend. We love her, and we love her mother, Mrs. Glenn, Mrs. Odella Glenn, and her son, Idris. We thank God for them that are out in Detroit, Michigan. We love 
love you. You are where we are connected. Praise God with our headquarters. I give God all the glory. I give God all the honor. And I give God all the praise for my lovely family, for all my relatives. I love you. Praise God, Cain Cain. God bless you to my dear relatives who are represented here. I thank God for peaceful joy. I see Minister Eo. God bless you. I see those that I cannot see. I thank God for having you on today. It is going to be a wonderful service. I give God all the honor, all the praise. All thanksgiving, praise be to God. I'm going to bring forth the prayer from our dear sister and prophetess intercessor, Minister Crystal Glenn. Pastor God bless you. God bless you. Glory Lord. to God. <laughs> Pastor, your seat please. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
You forgive the sin, God. You remember it no more. It says that it's as far as the east is from the west, God. And that's a funny long way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Salvation is a great concept that cannot be thoroughly explained without the help of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians, come over here please, 1 verse 18. Praise be to God. Hallelujah, we give you worship. Praise God. We're going to pray, praise God, before we go into the message. This message is going to be a very powerful message. Thus saith the Lord God Almighty. And so before we go into this message, this was a directive from the Holy Spirit that we have to pray again. And so we say, Father, we thank you for the salvation of our soul. All glory to you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for this great gift of salvation that you have made available to all humanity and to all human race. Lord, we are grateful that you have found us worthy by your mercy to be your vessel through which your word will be ministered to Amen. others. Lord, we ask for your mercy in all ways. We have sinned against you. Please forgive us in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we seek your forgiveness for these people, for ourselves, for our children and our family. We want to pray for their salvation. Please forgive them. Please forgive us of all our sins and iniquities in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, please show us your mercy that we may receive your salvation in Jesus' name. Lord, please soften our hearts. Please soften those hearts that are watching. 
take away their hearts of stone and please give them a heart of flesh in Jesus' name. Father, please take away every act of stubbornness away from their lives and help them to begin to see things through the light of the gospel in Jesus' name. Let every shield in their hearts against the gospel be removed by fire in Jesus' name. Lord, please take off every veil off their faces that they may see and know you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Help us, Lord, to know you for who you are and help us to come to know that you are the reason for our existence in Jesus' name. Father, please touch our hearts. Please touch the people's hearts in a way that no one can ever do. Let them feel a special touch from you that they may know it is you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. And men of God, you can please uh, lead us and then I will come as the Lord lead. Glory to God. God bless you, sir. And thank you very much. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. We give God the glory, all the praise. Please excuse me. Hallelujah. I am so wondrously saved from sin. Jesus so sweetly abides within. Here at the cross where he took me in. Glory to his name. Glory to his, glory to his name. Glory to his wonderful name. There to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to His name. Oh, glory, glory to His glory to His name. Glory to His wonderful name. There on the cross where He took me in. Glory to His name. Come to the fountain that is I'll be free from sin. Hallelujah to the Lamb I'm just entering. There on the cross, Mary took me in. Glory to His name. Glory to His holy name. Glory to His matchless name. There to the cross where my, my sin was brought. Glory to His name. Glory to His, glory to His name. Dear to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to His name. Oh, glory, glory to His name. Glory to His wonderful name. Yet to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to His wonderful name. I was sat before me, and I think God does for us in this last song. Yeah. And it leaves this area so that the word of God might be brought by His chosen vessel of honor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you, Lord. I'll meet you in the morning by the bright riverside. We don't see this in the church anymore, so we don't really live anticipating to go to heaven. I found in the modern church Thank atmosphere. You. Thank you. But I can't constrain myself, I can't prevent myself from singing this song because we have a home. We're just pilgrims and sojourners here, brethren. And uh, we shouldn't become so passively caring about this world more than the world to come. We are only kept here because the Lord prayed in St. John 17 that the Father keeps us here to 
do greater works than he himself did. So I always like to sing these songs. It reminds me of my destination. I will meet you in the morning by the bright riverside. When our souls are drifted away, I'll be standing at the portals where the gates open wide. At the close of life's long dreary day, see I meet you in the morning with an hour. Yes, friend, I'll sit down by the river with a rock to your acquaintance renew. While you know me in the morning by the smile that I wear. Oh, when I meet you in the morning in the city. City built for square. I'll meet you in the morning at the end of the way on the streets of that city of gold, where we all can be together and be happy always while the years of eternity roll. How do you do? While well, I will sit down with you by the river, with the rapture, how oh, the quaint and you and you will know me, hallelujah, in the morning, yes you will, by the radiant smile that Jesus will give me when I get there, hallelujah, what well, will I meet you in the morning? In the city that's built for square, yes, I'll meet you in the morning, and I'll see how, how do you do? You know I'm gonna see that <laughs> by the river with an old rapture acquaintance with your brothers and sisters, and you'll know me for sure in the morning. I'm not even here yet. Bible smile, radiant smile that Jesus will give to me that I wear them well when I meet you get ready in the morning in the city the city built for square while well, 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 we will meet each other in the morning eternally yes by by the river of life oh yes my friend we're going to sit down by the river with an old rapture acquaintance renew, you, you will know me, yes you will my friend, in the morning, by the smile that I wear, oh when I be, you in the morning, in the city that's built, Four square. Read about it in Revelation. I will meet you in that four square city. In that city that's built four square. Coming down on the earth, the new Jerusalem it is called. We worship you. By the way, thank you for this moment. The pace is set by you. My Lord, I remove myself and I present your daughter before your audience. And we thank you for that grace to rest in Shekinah glorious anointing to inspire, to speak to us as the arbiter of God. My heart is prepared. I need some more bending up. I need some more food. I need some more washing, Lord. So use your servant to your glory. We thank you. We call it done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I need you to find Isaiah. I'm going to have you to read Isaiah for me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. 
and all the time god is good praise the lord man of god you can bring the podium here please hallelujah as you know minister vassal is working behind the scenes i pray for his supernatural strength praise the lord god is good thank you honey i want you to please forgive me when you were helping me to wipe my face and i said not my makeup but you know how the ladies are we like to stay as beautiful praise be to god hallelujah and i just want to stay that way until i get off the airway minister vassal is in training and i'm so grateful that he is do you know that minister vassal you can get it when you're ready yeah. let me know when you get it please when minister vassal and i when i was serving praise god before I became a minister, praise God, we were both ordained as ministers, hallelujah. But do you know that I had to be very submissive to my leader at the time, praise God. And I was going through a great, mighty deliverance, hallelujah. I was going through deliverance where I was puke. You can bring my um, purple shawl and you can stand here with me, sir. And I was going through my great deliverance, hallelujah, for years under Apostle Joy Anna Vassal, praise God, who is our cousin, Minister Vassal's birth uh, cousins, or first cousin rather, she's a Vassal, praise God, but hallelujah, you know how it is with um, everything, you know, with the immigration and sometimes they make mistake on your birth certificate and so Minister Vassal is Vassal, and Apostle Joy Anna Vassal is Vassal as well. And so that made me her cousin because she is also Minister Vassal's cousin. But she was my apostle when I was going through my deliverance for years. And Minister Vassal was the one that would um, help me. He was like my nurse. He used to help me to clean all my snots and all my puke. I don't want to get too, um, you know, deep. I don't want to gross anybody out, but I want to let you know deliverance can come in different ways through many signs. But Minister Vasa was really my nurse and doctor. So I call him my doctor Solomon Elkana Vasa because even when the woman would scorn me, when they would not even want to come near me, there was a man that God had put in place before I even see that he was going to become my husband. God was using Minister Vassal to clean my vomit. And I let you know, so with him helping me with my makeup, it is just a little bit of it. But he has done it all. I give God all the glory, all the praise, all thanksgiving for having Minister Vassal in my life, praise be to God. And I give honor to the Lord Jesus Christ, to the Father, and to the Holy Spirit. I thank God for the Shekinah glory, and foremost, I thank God for His presence. Amen. His presence is here, Amen. Amen. so I'm not gonna take any time. I've already done the welcome, and I give honor to our leader again, Apostle David E. Taylor, Amen. who has just brought us through a mighty, Four days of one night with the King. Of kings. Hallelujah. <laughs> the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. We are, there is no other. And we thank God for everything, for His mighty deliverance. His, the electricity was fell through the airway. His mighty deliverance when He came down. I just wanted to puke. I'm telling you, there was such a great mighty wind that came over this place and we can feel His tangible glory. Amen. It's still here if you can Amen. feel it. Amen. This is not Minister Vassal or myself. This is God's glory. And so we are giving honor to God, the Most I, the Great I Am, the Almighty God, our Everlasting Father. And I thank God for Him, for Jesus and the Holy Spirit for visiting us in the season of one night with the King. Hallelujah. So, man of God, Minister Vassal is going to take us. Um, please pass my microphone so I can give you yours. Thank you so much, sir. 
you know I can't leave the podium excuse that God let me go but I will give this to Minister Vasa hallelujah thank you Jesus go ahead sir hallelujah this is a light to read the word of God can you see I think I can okay and um I just want to cautiously say this listen to what the Lord is saying in his word Jesus said the spirit of life this is a very important scripture where when the children of Israel had to return, or the Jews had to return to Babylon to uh, Jerusalem. So let's get all we can get from the meat of this word and the marrow from the bones of this word. Isaiah 45. Thus saith the Lord to his anointed. It was even a Jew. To Cyrus, whose right hand I, God, have holden, to subdue nations before him. And I, God, will loose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaved gates, Amen. and the gates shall not be shut. The Almighty God speaking, I will go before thee. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And make the crooked places straight. Yes, Lord. My God. Yes. I will break in pieces the gates of brass. I God will do it. And cut sunder the bars of iron. Yes. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places. That thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Hallelujah. Lord, I fear you today. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. Does God have control of his life? Yes, he does. Yes, yes, he says, I am the Lord, and there is none else, and there is no God beside me either. I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. That they may know from the rising of the sun and from the west mm -hmm. that there is none beside me. Amen. Hallelujah, honey, yes, Lord. Lord. I am the Lord, and there is none else. Mm -hmm. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all things. We better turn that His word. Glory to God. Drop down the heavens from above. Let the skies pour righteousness. Let the earth open and let them bring forth salvation. And let righteousness spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. Yes, Lord. Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. My God, help us never to be found there. Or not with you. Or anyone for that matter. Woe unto him that strives with his maker. Yes. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherd of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioned it, What makest thou? Or thy work? He hath no hands. Woe unto him that saith unto his father, What begettest thou? Or to the woman, What hast thou brought forth? Respect your parents and him to say he has cursed and disrespect your parents. Thus said the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, Amen. and his maker, ask of me things to come concerning my sons, and concerning the work of my hands. Command ye me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have made the earth and created man upon it. I, even my hands, I've stretched all the heavens and all their hosts have I commanded. Yes, Lord. I have raised him up in righteousness and I will direct all his ways. Mm -hmm. He shall build my city and yes, it was built. Mm -hmm. And he shall let go my captives and it did happen. Mm -hmm. Not for price either, nor for rewards, say the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Let's take the word of God serious. Yes, Lord. Thus say the Lord again, the labor of Egypt and the merchandise of Ethiopia and the Sabians, men of stature, shall come over unto thee and they shall be thine. 
they shall come out of thee in chains, they shall come over and they shall fall down unto thee. They shall make supplication unto thee, saying, Surely God is with you. Hallelujah. And there is none else. There is no God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Take him at Verily, verily thou art God. Thou hidest thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. Yes, that's yes. true. You know to hide yourself. Hallelujah, my God. <laughs> they shall be ashamed and also confounded. All of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. Uh, God don't like idolatry. But Israel shall be saved. Gonna come from captivity. Hallelujah. Glory to God, I'm excited. Thank you, please God. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. My God, I love this word. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. Yes, <laughs> Lord. For thus said the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he hath established it, he created it not in vain, yes, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is none else. Amen, amen. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. Mm. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, mm. seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Glory Amen. to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together. Mm -hmm. Ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image. And pray unto a God that cannot save. Yes, Lord. Tell ye and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together. Who have declared this from ancient time? Who have declared this from ancient time? Who have told it from that time? Mm -hmm. Have not I the Lord? Mm -hmm. And there is no God else beside me. Yes, Lord. A just God and a Savior. There is none else beside me. Yes, Father God. Look unto me and be saved, all the ends of the earth. Mm -hmm. For I am God and I am, and there is none else like me. Yes, Lord. I have sworn by myself the word has gone out of my mouth in a righteousness mm -hmm. and shall not return. Mm -hmm. The last of me here in me shall bow. Mm -hmm. Every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say in the Lord have I righteousness and strength. Even to him shall men come. And all that are like incense rather against him shall be ashamed. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified and shall glory to be two more times. Yes, sir. In the Lord himself shall all the seed of Israel, the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob mm -hmm. be justified and shall glory. Yes, Lord. One last time. Yes, Lord. In the Lord God himself who has spoken this whole chapter mm -hmm. shall all the seed of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Israel is Jacob, shall be justified and shall glory here ended the reading of god's holy word that shall not return unto him void we honor him by saying glory to the father unto the son unto the holy ghost as it was in the beginning world no one ever shall be world without end amen amen a thousand times amen this is praise the lord Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. I give God all the glory, man of God. Thank you, man of God. We can please get the chair ready. So I'm going to take us on a journey. Praise God, man of God, the, um, that high chair. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Minister Vassal, for your faithfulness. Praise God. And if you know that we have the two Bibles, man of God, we have the Holy Bible as our dear spiritual father and we know the lord has said we have to use the holy bible praise god this was ancient time from the king james the holy bible it is here with us it is a bigger bible and a larger print rather so we have it here at the altar but i often use the smaller bible because it's a little bit lighter praise god for me to hold especially for a little time Praise God. Hallelujah. So we give God all the glory, 
all the praise, all thanksgiving. Thank you, man of God, for bringing forth the word today. And as Minister Vassell has just read, praise be to God. If you are joining us here, Minister Vassell, if you're joining us for now, we are just going into the message. We are not going to be long with you because, praise God, time has been far spent. Praise God. This floor is very shiny. Thank you, man of God. Minister Vassell helped to keep this floor very shiny. I don't know how he does it, but sometimes the chair, they kind of slide on as we go. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And so we are, and the man of God, I want you to sit beside me just in case I'm falling over. I need you to sit as close as you can, sir. Praise God. I thank God for our children. Anthony's just resting. He's with us. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so we are giving God, man of God, you could turn this a little bit this way as Minister Vassal is here. Be careful not to touch the wrong thing, sir. Yeah, gentle. Mm -hmm. All right. Minister Vassal is now in school. <laughs> Thank you much better, sir. Thank you so much. And so Minister Vassal has just read Isaiah 45. Praise be to God. And so we are going to go right into the word. If you are just joining, you can read it for yourself or you can catch up with the teaching that we're going to bring to you for today. Praise God. And so it says, looking to God, praise God, praise God. It said, thus saith the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held. And so it says, thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, Isaiah carries on this remarkable prophecy from the previous chapter as in Isaiah 44. And in it, God announces by name the deliverer for his people from a coming captivity. And he does it 2,000, sorry, 200 years before the man Cyrus is born. His anointed means that Cyrus had a particular anointing from God for his work. And I know there's a saying that said, many are called, but few are chosen. And when God chooses you, God will give you an anointing. He will put his anointing upon you and he will speak through you, thus saith the Lord. I remember when I was in Toronto and I was at my mom's house, I remember I had a dream, glory to God. And I seen this massive crowd of people as if I was outside. I don't know if I was at a stadium or where I was, but from where I was on high, there was a massive crowd. And when I outstretched my hand, I saw that the power of Jesus came in my arm. And it was him that was praying through me to his people. And he was speaking as if he was reaching out to his people in the nation. And then I woke up. So I want to let you know that God is given the anointing the anointing to speak, the anointing to sing, the anointing to pray, the anointing to minister, the anointing to do whatever gift he has given you that ye can be glorified out of it. And so here he's saying that this anointing is for Cyrus and he says that Cyrus had a particular anointing from God for his word. And God poured out his spirit on a pagan king because God wanted to use that man to bless and deliver Hallelujah. his people. So we can have a pagan king, Hallelujah. but God can use the anointing through the king Amen. to get to his people. Amen. Whether we have a stiff neck or a hard, hard neck or a stubbornness, God is the one that chooses to deliver his people. We don't choose for God, but he can choose whom he will. And he will use that anointing so he will deliver his people. Amen. Glory Amen. to Amen. God. Amen. And I know that this year is the word for mighty deliverance, for redemption and salvation. Glory to God. Amen. 
And it said, there is a precedent for the divine anointing of a non-Israelite king, though in one passage only, as in 1 Kings 19, verse 15 to 16. Although the living God normally employed Israelites for such purposes, he is sovereign and may use whom he will, just as I said. Thus says the Lord to his anointing, means that this word was particularly directed to Cyrus. And do you know that when Minister Vassal, you can start the recording, man of God, when Minister Vassal and I were um, praying, we said, thus says the Lord. This is not our anointing. This is God, the Holy Spirit, that anoint us for this sermon, for this season, to deliver his people and to bring forth a message to the nation. And so it means that the word is going to be directed to his people, Amen. to you and to us and to our children, right? Amen. This was God's message to him. And Cyrus apparently listened. So we have to ask the Lord to give us a heart, a listening ear, not just to hear the word, but we must ask for a listening heart. Because it's through our heart where we hear the word of God and it germinate and it takes root. I was just watching today, I think this morning I woke up and I noticed that there was something on YouTube where this person was having very strong chest pain, man of God, and he wasn't sick. He wasn't sick at all. He, he, he went to the doctor because he couldn't understand why he was coughing and why he had chest pains. And you know, anyone that has chest pains might think they're gonna have an attack or, you know, or I won't go there. But this man had an x-ray and they saw that maybe there was an inflammation around the heart, but they couldn't see. But somehow they discovered that there was a growth in the heart and it was a growth of a seed. I think it was more like a, a green pea. A green pea had taken root in his heart and it started to grow. Started to grow a tree from his lungs out of his mouth. But I'm trying to say this, that when the root, when the word of God touch your heart is going to take root and it's supposed to grow inside of you. You're supposed to become different. Your Amen. heart's supposed to be soft. Amen. You're supposed Amen. to have that sunlight or that heart of God or Jesus. So when he speak to you, you're not stubborn or stiff naked or turn away or turn away as if you have never heard. But anyhow, it says this was God's message to him and Cyrus apparently listened. These things Cyrus knew from reading the book of prophecy, which Isaiah had left behind 210 years later. And that's why we are to read the Bible, because the Bible is made up of many things, of love letters, of prophecies, of all kind of things. This is not Minister Vassal and Keisha's word. This is the Holy God. He inscribed these message through prophets of old and they deliver it and written it in this book called the Bible. It's called the basic instruction before leaving earth. And so to his appointed and enabled one to subdue many nations, mighty God. And so it said Cyrus subdued, say it E, the Syrians, Assyrians, Arabians, mighty God, and the Lydians, and many others. But I'm moving forward. He also had dominion over the Asiatics, over the Greeks, over the Cyprians, over the Egyptians, and he vanished, mighty God, mighty God. And so to open before him the double door so that the gates will not be shut, I will break in pieces the gates of bronze. We're going forward. The armies of the Meds and Persians under Cyrus conquered the city of Babylon in a remarkable raid described as in Daniel 5. According to the ancient historian, mighty God, Herodotus, while King Belshazzar of Babylon held a reckless party. Cyrus conquered the city by diverting the flow of the Euphrates into a nearby swamp and thus lowering the level of the river so his troops could march through the water and under the river gates. 
but they still would not have been able to enter had not the bronze gates of the inner walls been left in ex um, unlocked. Mighty God. God opened the gates of the city of Babylon yep. for Cyrus and put in writing 200 years before it happened. Mighty God. So it says, I will give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. So the night they conquered the city, Cyrus and his armies took all the staggering treasures of Babylon. Glory to God. And it was important that Cyrus know that the Lord had given it to him. Amen. And so God is speaking to us in this season that God is going to give us treasures and possessions from those that are in Babylonian, for those that are coming under a government that is not of his kingdom. Glory to God. Mm, glory and God. so we are to know that when this happened, this is from the Lord God mm, Almighty. Mm, and we are to give honor to him. No man will get the glory. Glory to God. And so praise God. On the night that the Babylon fell, Cyrus probably had no great sense of the Lord's guidance or presence. So he probably thought himself both brilliant and lucky. Many of us think we're luckier, we're brilliant, and because of our own doing that we gain all these blessings and breakthroughs and promises and gifts. But I want to let you know that we are to acknowledge his presence and his guidance, right? And so we succeed in something only by the blessing and pleasure of God and never see the miraculous hand of God behind it. Mighty God, when this happened, we have to give glory and honor and thanks to Amen. the Lord God Almighty. Amen. And so it says that God certainly gave Cyrus treasures, mighty God. When Cyrus conquered Asia, he found 34,000 pounds of gold, besides golden vessels and articles in gold. My God, isn't that so magnificent, man of God? Do you have anything to say? I got it. <laughs> Do you have anything to say, man of God? Praise God. Take mine. <laughs> it's okay. I'll pass you yours. Okay, if you can hold it, sir. I got excited because um, <laughs> when I started out to minister, the Lord uh, sent me to the church. I still minister to the church. He sent me to be a restorer of paths of walking. Mm -hmm. And so he acquainted me with the Cyrus and Darius and the captivity of the children of Israel, separated from the captivity of the Jews, and how the, you know, Esther came into being, and uh, Mordecai and uh, Ezra and all these men. So I'm really excited here, and I'm sitting, I'm in school. I'm in school. Yes, Lord, yes, sir. <laughs> because when God wanted to talk to him, nobody can stop him. And so for God, even right now, we are waiting in His presence and waiting on Him. And do you know we can't move ahead of Him? Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Do you know where to plug on our knees and let Him give us counsel and instruction on where we're at and not be fools? Yes, Lord. Do you know yes, we can't put the right word ahead of us unless He gives us counsel? Yes, Lord. And so this is a very interesting subject. You probably need to do this for three, four, five weeks. <laughs> How God sent His people to captivity because of the disobedience and rebellion and they wouldn't repent when he sent prophets yes, to Lord. them. Yes, As a matter of fact, I don't want to say much, but right now we don't even know we are living in a nation that don't even know who they are. Mm. The North and South American nations, the larger European nations, because they were driven out of their countries away from God. The Jews are a separate ones of the 12 tribes. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. So God wants us to know is comprehensively and divinely watching over us individually yes, and Lord. collectively. Yes, so I don't Lord. want to say much more. This is too exciting. I don't throw your responsibility. That's okay, sir. But, but, but God is good. Yes, Lord. Let's hear what the Spirit of God is saying to us because I am listening. Fine tune listening. Mm -hmm. I want to hear what he said to us today. Yes, Lord. So you go ahead, Lord God. Thank you. This is exciting. Praise God. God bless. It's right behind you, sir. Praise the Lord. God is good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. I, I can't go too far ahead of myself. That's yours, sir. I drank from the other one. That one is yours. Okay. <laughs> Please excuse me. And so it says that you may know that I, the Lord, who called you by your name, am the God of Israel. God announced all of this 200 years before its fulfillment. So if many of us are waiting for a blessing, we're waiting for a husband, or we're waiting for a wife, we're house. waiting for a house, we're waiting for a job or children, whatever your situation or your circumstances, that God says it, he will bring it to pass. Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' mighty amen. name. His promises are yes and amen. amen. Thank you, man of God, for sharing that song amen. yesterday. The man amen. of God got a song from the Lord. All his promises are yes and amen. And so this was announced all of this 200 years before its fulfillment so that Cyrus would know and glorify the Lord. Amen. But the Lord also did it so that Cyrus would show kindness to the people of God. Amen. Glory to God. Granting them permission to return to the promised Hallelujah. land from the captivity imposed on them by the Babylonians. Yes. And many of us know that you know, we are serving in a country that do not worship or believe in the Lord God Almighty. Many of them are believing in other gods. Many of them believing in gods that are images. Many are worshiping idols. And so I'm letting you know that God will institute government, but it doesn't mean that we have to follow them or worship what they worship. Because God will put them in place, but they are captivating our blessing. They're holding back unto our possession. They're holding back unto our returns. They're holding back unto our breakthroughs. I don't know what they're holding back from you. It could be that they're holding back on your status. It could be that they're holding back on something that is of important to you. But all I know is that God is the God of Israel. And if he says it, he will do it. Amen. Only believe. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And so the royal proclamations of Cyrus fulfilling this prophecy are found in Ezra 1 verse 2 and 2 Chronicles 36 verse 23. Amen. And so we're going to go forward when it says... For Jacob, my sake, or my sorry, for Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, my elect. Come I'm going to let you on, know. Cyrus would like to think that God picked him because he was the smartest or most talented or strongest man available. But really, God's focus was on his people. Amen. It wasn't Cyrus that moved God to act but the condition and the cry of his and people. Time. So we are his people in this generation. Hallelujah. We are his people in this nation, in Canada, in America, in Africa, in Jamaica, wherever you're watching from, that God is looking and focusing on his people, not just one man, Hallelujah. but all his people. And it wasn't Cyrus that moved God to act, but the condition, God is looking at our heart. And that's why we prayed that salvation prior, not the repentance yet, but the salvation prior that we will come to the understanding of a heart that God is looking to. And so that all these victories were for the sake of little Israel is one of the ironies of God control of history. Cyrus is preferred in order that Israel might be released. But Cyrus shall have a kingdom, but only in order that God's people... Man of God, I'm going to borrow this. I don't want to strain my voice. Thank you. Sorry. But Cyrus is preferred in order that Israel might be released. Cyrus shall have a kingdom, but only in order that God's people may live their liberty their freedom 
and the Lord raises up one and he puts down another. That's what you said. <laughs> Behind all the drama of human events today, there is a God who is planning for his church. He says, up on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And through affliction and persecution, many of our relatives and our so-called family, they persecute us. They speak all manner of evil about us Amen. and they might despise us. Amen. They might not even want to talk to us Amen. and they revile us. Amen. But woe unto them. Amen. Because God says, it happened to Jesus. So if it happened to Jesus, what is it not going to happen to us? Amen. But we will pray for God to forgive. We will pray mercy for God to forgive, especially upon our family and our loved ones and those that so-called friends that choose to call themselves acquaintance, but yet they are betrayers and they're backbiters and their naysayers and amen, witchcraft amen, amen, amen. and any workers but and iniquity workers woe unto them thus saith the Lord God because he see it what happens in secret and he will expose those that are hidden in hidden places glory to God and chastisement and tribulation to be perfected and prepared to inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. It says, I have named you, though you have not known me. That's right. I will gird you, though you have not known me. Cyrus didn't even know the Lord, That's mighty right. God. That's right. Yet God could anoint him and guide him and bless him and use him. How much more should God be able to do through those who have at least a mustard seed worth of faith in him. Amen. Man of God, to God, God is not looking for big faith. Amen. He's looking for a mustard seed, a mustard, a tiny, tiny seed. He's looking for Church. a tiny seed to have faith in him. Proverbs 21 verse 1 says, The king's heart is in the hand of of the Lord like the rivers of water he turns it wherever he wishes God can work in and through others in very unexpected ways Amen. that they may know from the rising of the Sun to its setting that there is none besides me this was wonderfully fulfilled in Ezra 1 verse 1 to 3 that passage shows how when Cyrus made his proclamation allowing the people of God to return to the promised land that he acknowledged to the whole world the greatness and uniqueness of the Lord God of Hallelujah. Israel. Mighty God. Mighty God. Many of us want to enter the promised land, but they don't want to go through the wilderness. Do you know the wilderness is an experience that is a preparation to receive the promised land? Amen. I want to let you know that God, he did it with Abraham, mighty God, in order for him to receive that promised child. Praise God. He is a promise and Sarah and Abraham has gotten that promise. And so we also will get that promise. Amen. You don't need to be impatient. I want to let you know that we had to go through a time of wilderness in order to walk into the blessing, Come on. into the promised land. Amen. And so now, in the first year of Cyrus, glory to God, that Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and also put in writing saying, Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, all the kingdoms of the earth, the Lord God of heaven has given me and he has commanded me to build him a house at Jerusalem, which is in Judah, man of God, who is among you of all his people. May his God be with him Amen. and let him go up to Jerusalem, Amen. which is in Judah, Amen. and build the house of the Lord, Hallelujah. God of Israel. 
He is God, Amen. which is in Jerusalem. Amen. And so many of our family, they persecute us or they speak all manner of evil. We are sent here on a great commission, on a Amen. great and effectual open door Amen. ministry. Well, but there are many adversaries. Amen. We are building an altar unto the Lord. Amen. And sometimes we, God will place us in cities and regions that is afar off from our relatives. Amen. He will place us away from our children. But many of us are not willing to walk away from land, come on, come on, come car, on. possessions, children, and vanity so we can do God's will. But he is searching for our heart that obey him Amen. he wants us to trust him Amen. because at the appointed time he will bring that restoration Amen. you have anything to say man of god <laughs> too yeah. much i can too keep much. going let's just keep going too much. i said i formed the light and i might not get through all but we're gonna get there i form the light and create darkness I make peace and create calamity. Who I, he said, I the Lord, Come on. I the Lord, Lord I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create calamity. I the Lord do all these things. Simply put, Isaiah knows, Cyrus would know and declare to the whole world and we should know today that God is in control. Holy control. He's in control over everything. We, we, we are not to watch the TV or CNN or, you know, your favorite channel or to think that this is what God is saying. That is the world way. That is the kingdom of the world. But we are the kingdom of God. We are to look into our Bibles. We are to listen to his still small voice. And we have to take heed to the prophets. We are to listen to the apostles. We are to listen to the great the man and woman that God is using in this dispensation to the prophetesses for who God is using. Whom God uses no respecter of man. Amen. He chooses whom he uses Amen. to say, Thus saith the Lord. Amen. And so since this prophecy was given long before God's people went into the captivity, Isaiah now announces deliverance from. They could be comforted through the captivity by knowing God is in control. So Isaiah's point is that there are not two gods, little G-O-D-S, or forces in heaven, one good and one bad, as in drastic, but God is saying, he is no opposite. Satan is not and has never been God's opposite. There is one God. He is not the author of evil. Evil is never original, but always a perversion of an existing good. Yet God is the allower of evil Amen. and he uses it to accomplish his eternal purpose of bringing together all things in Jesus. Amen. Many of us want freedom. Many one of us wants the time to go overseas. Many of us want to travel. Many of us want to be with friends. Many one of us want to have status. And so what seems evil will look good. And many of us will jump for the evil that is a deception. And I'm not yeah. going to speak. I'm not going to say what it is. But I want to let you know we have to repent. Mm -hmm. Can I have a drink? <coughs> Please, man of God. We must repent and repent quickly for the evil that we have allowed to come into our nation. For the evil we have allowed to come near us and the evil we have allowed to follow because of money, because we want to keep a good job, because we want to be traveling or because we want to have status. God says it's forbidden. It's an abomination and it is evil in his eyes. Amen. Mighty God. And so looking to God, let's see, he says, rain down you heavens from above and let the skies pour. I'm only getting to verse 8, man of God, and we can finish it soon. And it says, I'm going to come down soon. 
and rain down you from heavens from above and let the skies pour down righteousness let the earth open let them bring forth salvation what what time are we doing and let righteousness spring up together and i the lord have created it <coughs> excuse me and i'm going to finish this part and we're going to get into the other section and so it says rain down you heavens the great god described in the passage or the previous passage can speak to the heavens and bring rain and we get a lot of rain in this region in canada niagara falls it rains we see a rainbow even when it doesn't rain <laughs> we get to see all kind of manifestations <laughs> we see stars and moons we see planets we see everything but we thank god for his rain praise the lord and it says <clears throat> that it is true in the literal sense and in the natural sense but it is also true in the spiritual sense god can send a flood from heaven and let the skies pour down righteousness glory to god man of god doesn't this remind us of that snowstorm that we had with 61 centimeter my god oh my god and it was just Minister Basala and I. We were buried for three days. You want to say something a little bit about it? <coughs> and that the face that was seen outside. That was an experience. You know, we couldn't get out for three days. And praise God, the Lord provided for us so we had everything on the inside that we needed. Even yeah. without necessarily, from our own mindset, making the provision. And this week, this year, the same thing reoccurred, but he moved us a bit before he came. I love the word because yes. God is watching this word to perform it. And I am sitting as a student today because I believe the Lord is speaking to me. Because I went to seek his face yesterday and I came when I was really storming heaven, if we can yes. use that term. And my wife kept on saying, just, just, just rest, just rest. But I couldn't rest because I needed a word. Yeah. And when that word came, that when I calmed down, that's when I calmed down. So uh, today the Lord is probably prompting us to seek his face to let us know where we're at yes, in him and yes, with him. Because his people are in captivity <coughs> in the context me. of this word. But he yeah. rose the king up that didn't even know him. To provide a way for the children of Israel, the Jews to go back to Jerusalem or to Judah at the end of the 70 years of captivity. Could there be any one of us today to reach our voices who are in some kind of captivity yeah. and we've been striving to get over what God has at times yeah. said for us? Is He possibly saying to us today that He's rising yes, up a man or a reason of a man to make a way for us to come out of our willingness and our casting yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And return to Him and to rebuild our ministries, rebuild the temple yes, uh, that Jesus Christ Himself was honorably able to yes, go Lord. into a greater honor yeah. than that of Solomon's temple. It's very important for us to heed the yeah. word of God, as my wife says. It's not the TV and the different things that we watch that men say. That doesn't matter much to me. It's what the Almighty God says, even if He seems yes, to take in my lifetime to fulfill it. I want to wait on Him, so I go and pick up, I pick up word if needs be. Yes, I learn these days to be calm. I learn to be anxious, and I'm learning more and more. Yes, Lord. But I pick a time that He provides me to go and talk with him i want to hear from you he says come let's reason together so today there might be some of us in the reach of uh, some in the reach of our voices today who yes, need Lord. to know that we are to seek the lord, yes, lord so we can get the practical word for individual yes, circumstances or collective circumstances yes, is only a prayer away and he's yes, waiting lord. for us to seek him yes lord so like he rose up an, an ungodly king to make mm -hmm. way for his people to go back to rebuild the walls and there were three different yes, groups of them that went back yes and lord. fulfilled the prophecy prophesied hundreds of years before yes, let us be submissive mm -hmm. to god so he can work out our salvation with us through us in fear and trembling to show the world to show our enemies to show those who are not walking christ like that there is still the living god in our life this is what this story is all about you know, so I, I don't know if my wife would run to mm -hmm. probably break when she feels that breaking and break and come back on this world because this mm -hmm. has a lot. It's, it's a story. It's a it's a counsel. It's a direction. 
God is speaking to us. I didn't even know the Lord came for this word. He tried to share with me last night, but I wasn't very listening. And you know, praise God, but because I need to listen today. You're forgiven. Yes, thank yeah. you. Praise God. I just want to know what God is saying. As long as I have a word to stand on, to sleep on, to walk on, to wake on, I can be cool before Him. And so today we want to advise and encourage you, those of you who are on late, we won't be on too late, but we just want to ask you if possible, stay on to hear what the Lord is saying. Maybe there's a word for us. The word saves, the word delivers, the word sets free, the word brings us into God's divine, comprehensive, predestined plan for our lives. God bless you richly. Thank you. Yes. Man of God. Thank you, sir. God bless you, man of God. And as we said, this was in Isaiah 45, verse 8. We'll be finishing here, but I'm just finishing this part of the teaching. And it says, rain down, you heavens. The great God described in the previous passage that can speak to the heavens and bring rain. It is true in the literal, natural sense, but it is also true in a literal, spiritual sense. God can send a flood from heaven and let the skies pour down righteousness. Let the earth open, let them bring forth salvation. God can send his blessing from every direction. It comes down from the heavens, it comes up from the earth. Amen. Let them bring forth salvation and let righteousness spring up together. Amen. It is important to see that salvation and righteousness always spring up together. When God brings salvation to a life, he also brings righteousness to that life. Amen. And they spring up together. I, the Lord, have created it. What is God speaking of here? That he created the natural, physical world? Or that he created the invisible, spiritual world? Amen. Both are true, and so both may be in mind. And I am going to go over into the part that the Lord is breaking from here, and we will probably come back into Isaiah at another time, but we are getting right into the finale of this sermon, because God is touching on salvation today, and if you are here, it's not by chance, that God brought us here together. Amen, amen, amen. And so I'm going to stand at this time, man of God, because it is God's time. It is the Holy Spirit and Jesus' time. Amen. And it says that salvation is made available to all persons, big and small, male and female, youths, teen and the age, married and unmarried, slaves and free, rich and poor, etc. Salvation is saving of human beings from sin and its consequences. Salvation simply means to be saved from the destruction in life and afterlife. Jesus came to the world to save us from sins and reconcile us unto God. The choice we make in life stay with us forever. Therefore, being saved is a choice that affects one's life and even beyond life. Amen. The main purpose of Jesus coming to the world was to redeem us from curses and save our lost souls. Adam, the first father of all mankind, I'm only going to be five minutes, fell in the Garden of Eden. He was cursed by God for the sin he and Eve, his wife, committed through the serpent, thereby bringing curse to all mankind. But Jesus Christ came to the world to save us from the curse and to give us eternal life. Salvation can never be found anywhere else except through Jesus Christ because Jesus came to save the lost by revealing humanity to God. Satan, on the other hand, does not want anyone to be delivered and saved. 
His plan is to make people perish in darkness in life and after life. The Bible describes the devil as a thief in John 10 verse 10. And the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come that they may have life and have it to the full or more abundantly. Glory to God. Excuse me. Glory to God. And so the scripture again, I'll repeat. That 1 John 1.10 says, I'm going to repeat again. John 10.10 10 says, the thief comes only to kill to steal and destroy, or to steal, kill, and destroy, mighty God, but I have come that they may have life and have it to the fullest. So the scripture say in 1, or 1 John 1, verse 10, that if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, Amen. and his word is not in us. So the first step in healing a sick, may I ask a question? The first step in healing a sick person is to admit that he or she is sick. And if we admit that he or she is sick, then we will try to find a doctor or a hospital for the healing process to begin. Whether it's on medication or to go on something antibiotic, but the healing process to begin, we may seek a doctor, right? Likewise, anyone that wants to be saved must first acknowledge that he or she is a sinner. And the second step is to take it and to receive the words of God with faith. Amen. Without faith, you can't be saved. You have to receive and believe in the word of God before confessing you are saved. Many of us will say, I'm saved, I'm saved. I've gone to church 30 years, I'm <laughs> saved. But do you know that? <clears throat> Many of us can have a religious mindset, but they have not accepted the Lord. Can I have a drink? <clears throat> Someone is pulling from me right now, and that's how it's been. I can speak for my son, Anthony. I remember when we used to come here in the region on holidays, we would visit a church. And I think Anthony was just only eight years old, and there was a baptism. And he said to the pastor, how much does it cost for me to be baptized? How much money does it cost for me to baptize? And the pastor said it has no cost, it is free indeed. Amen. And so... Jesus doesn't cost us anything. Many of us are running away think when we speak of salvation that we have to pay a fee. Or we have to pay a price. But I want to let you know it is already paid for in full. Amen. It is completely paid in full by the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He paid it all. So we don't need to be penalized that we're going to have to pay a big debt after we're saved. Many promises are given by our friends, our family, and maybe so-called church, we have to give a gift. But God's free gift to humanity is free salvation. Amen. And so we have to ask the Lord's grace and mercy to have the heart to receive. Amen. Because it is through belief in the heart the heart and through the mouth confession is made. We're getting there. And so 1 John 1 9 says that if we confess our sins, that Minister Vassal, he's not going to confess for me, even though I'm his wife, he won't confess for me. Okay. He has to confess for himself. Amen. This is a relationship between just you and God, Amen. just between you and Jesus and the Holy Spirit only. And so the Bible says, as in 1 John 1 verse 9 says, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all iniquities. All. So with the heart we believe and with our mouth we confess. 
Jesus is the only way to go to the Father. There is no other way. There is no other way through Buddha, through Mary, through your belief, through Jehovah, through your witness or your religion. This is the only way and it is through Jesus. Through the Holy Spirit, Jesus is the way. And we cannot go to the Father except we have been saved. And the only way we can be saved is to confess Jesus and accept him into our lives. And with that, we can boldly go to the Father. So let's go now and accept Jesus and believe with our heart and confess with our mouth. I understand if you're not able to speak and to recite, but your heart, those that have no voice or don't have any born of lecture or communication, the Lord understand. But for those that can speak and say thus, say it, the Lord God Almighty, we must confess our sins and he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins. Amen. So this is a different prayer. It's not like previous prayers that we have done. So we're going to say, Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. I love you, Lord. I love you. Lord. I admit I have sinned against you. I admit I have sinned against you. I confess every sin. I confess every sin. That has flowed. That has flowed into my life into my life from my father's from my father's and mother's and mother's lineage lineages in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the Christ grant me a heart please to grant me an heart of repentance of true repentance from my iniquities my iniquities transgressions my transgressions presumptuous sins presumptuous sins secret errors secret errors secret faults secret faults I believe I believe that Jesus that Jesus, the Christ, the Christ is your son. Is your only begotten son. I confess. I confess that Jesus died. That Jesus died just for me. Just for me to be saved. To be saved. And I receive him. And I receive him into my life. Into my life today. In the name. In the name of Jesus. Of Jesus. Today. Today. I trust him. I trust him as my Lord. As my personal Lord and Savior. And Savior. My salvation, my salvation is preserved, is preserved by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. From this day forward. From this day forward. Guide my life. Please guide my life. And help me. And help me to do your will. To do your perfect will. Victoriously. Victoriously. Triumphantly. Triumphantly. I pray this. I pray this. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray. I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. 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 I thank you. I thank you for all the glory, for all your glory, for all your glory, for all your glory, for all your glory, for your glory. For your glory, 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 for your glory. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, thank you, 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Thank you. And, uh, man of God, now I take this time to welcome back no other than Minister Solomon al Qaeda Basel to take over this time. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, man of God. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your patience with us. Thank you. We're closing. And we want to close decently. So I don't hope we keep you much longer or any longer, so to speak. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. I'm so glad I have heard my Savior to me. No one here, a child of God, I truly know. On the way home, my precious and his precious and his daily. It's a grand and glorious feeling as I go. It's a grand and glorious feeling just to be a child of God. Oh, how his love comes over me stealing, making my path with my to go as on I fall. Every day I'm telling my story of his love I'll ever tell. Oh, it's a grand and glorious feeling just to be walking, not to be talking with a king. I'll be along the way your life to life eternal. Jesus has saved and washed my soul as white as snow. I'll be along the way to life eternal, our Savior. Grant that glorious feeling as I go. Oh, happy am I along the way to life eternal. Just as a saint that washed my soul as white as snow. Some of these days I reach my wondrous soul supernal. Friend, it's a grand and glorious feeling as I go. Now it's a Glorious feeling, I, 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 just to be a child of God. Oh, how His love comes over me, stealing, making my path a brighter glow as I go. Every day I tell the blood story of His love. We never see. It's a grand and glorious feeling just to be walking and to be talking with a king. This is very earnest. It's a grand and glorious feeling just to be a child of God. How his love comes over me stealing, making my pathway brighter and glow as all night long. Every day I tell the glad story, yes I do, of his love I never tell. Brotherhood, sisters, it's a very grand and glorious feeling just to be walking and to be talking with the Lamb of God. Oh, praise His name. Father, we've humbled ourselves in your hand as you require by your grace. Live our lives in you or let you live your lives through us. 
We have humbled ourselves to the call of this responsibility to share the gospel yes, with our brothers and our sisters, whether in Christ already or in Christ to be. Yes, Lord. We have delivered your word, we have worshipped, we have testified. And I tremble personally at Isaiah 45. God, it's such a powerful word to let us know that you make provision for us. We just need to be under the scrutiny of your eyes. Yes, Lord Jesus. I'm so glad that you said to us in Psalm 32, verse 8, that you will guide us with your eyes. Yes, Lord Jesus. That's what you did to the children of Israel, the Jews that were in captivity. And you rose up a king that was not from the nation of those nations, but the nation that knew you, Israel. He was an even king. But the Bible says all souls are yours. Yes, Lord Jesus. And all flesh is yours. So you can use whomsoever you choose to use and give them a chance to repent to and save their souls. But you'll use whom you chose to use. And many of us today are in some kind of captivity. Yes, Lord. Many of us have come to know you as Lord and Savior and we are saved for all eternity. But we still, just like the children of Israel in Egypt bondage, many of us are still being bound up in trespasses and sins and captivities of nations and tribes and kindreds and prime ministers and premiers and presidents and kings who does not know you. But you have the ability yes, Lord. to rise up a man, to bring us through. We pray that we will abide the storms and walk with you in cadence. So you might bring us to that place and time when you have risen some on one up to bring deliverance and salvation to us. Father, it's very important for us to know the times and the seasons. It's very important for us to know that there's a time and a season for everything under the heaven. And I thank you for the fine teaching of Apostle David in prayer. Others are under him. Hallelujah. Now, only miss a Kairos, that it's called. Kairos, yeah. If we miss that time, we have to wait for the other season. And many of the people are willing to wait. So we pray today you give us patience. Yes, Lord Jesus. Tolerance. By the fruit of your spirit and obedience to you, we will not miss the time of our day. Hallelujah, mighty God. Glory to God. Salvation. When you're going to send that Moses to us, help us to be ready. Yes, Lord. When you will send us a deliverer, help us to be right on spot, on time with you. Yes, Lord Jesus. So we pray today that your word will not return to your voice. For you said it won't. Yes, Lord. So I'm praying very earnestly very sacredly for our brothers and our sisters including ourselves our children, our children, children our own posterity our mothers will not miss your carous time yes, Lord. that time when you will come to set us free yes, Lord. we pray that you the surface the process of the Lord will surrender ourselves to thee and be prepared yes, if you read the book of Exodus and see how you prepare the children of Israel. We read these stories without not absorb them. Mm -hmm. You prepare them for a rough life. And then they entered it and they started complaining. And they could have made it earlier. The Bible says they remained and rest of the people of God. And they failed to enter in because they didn't believe God. Today we choose to believe yeah, you, Lord. We believe you. That the most important believe. part of this prayer today, yeah. we believe you, Lord. Yeah. We pray you lock our eyes and our minds to everything that will cause us to doubt you. We believe your word. We believe your timing and we surrender to thee. And we pray that in hearers of God of this message today, we believe and trust in you. Because when you come with your right hand and your holy you arm to do your victory and your deliverance, it's going to be a mighty deliverance of captivity. God deliver your people here to glorify. Well, who, we don't know who is on Cyrus. I pray for my Prime Minister. Yes, Lord. I pray for those who lead us. I strive to speak against them yes, because yes, my yes. word can cause them to be unseemly. But when I pray the right parents stay in your will, yes, you will cause them to write free laws and statutes even yes, for the time Lord. of season yes. for our deliverance Hallelujah. and sex us free. Yes, 
Almighty the God. The psalmist says, I will look unto the hills of whence comes my help. But Paul tells us we have come to Mount Zion, the city of God, the heaven and Jews Jerusalem. We have come to God the Father and Judge of all. We come through Jesus Christ, our mediator, and we use in the sprinkling of his blood that speaks better than that, 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 that of Abel's to bring into our life the salvation of all blessings you have in store for us. We are looking forward to celebrate. Hallelujah. And so help us to walk in cadence with you, Father. In the second night of time, we've started our services here. We started late. We're not rushing. Because even though we know we want to be on schedule, yes, we want to be in perfect timing with you. Yes, so we can deliver your word properly. For we want you to be well pleased with us. Yes, Father. We want you to be well pleased with us. Yes, we want you to be able to bring deliverance to captives and glorify your name. Father, I pray tonight today for the minister, the preacher, the, this prophetess, this intercessor, this, this rare vessel of honor that you favored me to be her handyman. Yes, Father. Prophetess Deborah was a mighty woman of Vela. She yes, led even harmony. <laughs> but her husband was only, I understand, a launderer. He was a humble man. But he knew to serve his wife so she might do what she had to do. And I'm not ashamed to assume my responsibility. To bless this lady and to support her. To way of called her in the name of Jesus Christ that you prepared me. So I pray today for her strength. Spiritually, mentally, physically, morally, in every way. We pray that you anoint her and strengthen her in her human and Bible, Holy Spirit. Oh God, that dwells in her in the name of Jesus Christ, that you be glorified. I pray you speak to your blood perpetually upon her and let your fire burn in her, through her, and around her to protect her from the onslaught of the wicked. And I pray that angels have been drawn soon and all the deployment of the warriors from the throne of grace and mercy, from the kingdom of God, we live here, deploying, oh God, at your beating, at your call. Yes. Father, we love you, we submit ourselves in your hands. Hallelujah. I didn't even intend to pray this long, but I reference you. Yes, Lord. I love this story. Yes, Lord. I love this story. I love this story. And we too are waiting yes. for your promises. Which is yes and amen. You say yes and I'm to rest in you. I'm to rest in your faithfulness. You're the faithful God. Let our brothers and sisters rest in it. I don't care if they're in Africa. I don't care if business they're in America. Anywhere our brothers and sisters are in the island, under the earth, in the sky, in a train, in their home, give them rest. If even in prison and hospitals, give them rest. Let your people rest in their homes, rest in the spirit of their minds rest in their soul for there is in it a rest unto the think of God and Paul says we are to labor to enter into that rest and, ah yes, you have given us a second chance and we don't want to miss it God, God. Yes, so this is a wonderful message I'm really excited and I pray Lord, that your spirit will be with us for we really want to rest in you for we want to see the salvation of the Lord yes, that's what they told Moses stand still people of God you're going to see the salvation of the Lord. And the enemies that pursue you, you will not see them to know, know forever. And when that happened, Miriam and some women, and the Tamarines and some Father, we look forward to that. Be the glorified Father. This prayer is not ended. We love you. We adore you. We worship you. This is a powerful word. And Jesus, our mediator, wow. You do a fantastic job. And we submit to you, sir, and we hear to the Holy Ghost. For we want to see thy kingdom come. And that will be done here on earth, even through our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We hallow your name, Father. We hallow your name. And we surrender all in the name of the Lamb of God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. And all I can say is that we must seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto us. Glory to God. Praise God. I know that you're praying. But God says even though it may be delayed, it's never denied. And it is always on time. Thus saith the Lord. So be encouraged. Be blessed. It is just the beginning of a new year. A new era, praise God, a new month. And today 
is the month of the eighth. Today is the eighth of the first month. Hallelujah. For those that follow the Gorgian calendar, it is 2023. And we got to believe and we got to decree and declare that what God says, it shall be so. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you, sir. I know the food is cooking. Our turkey is in the oven. And it's going to be dinner time. It is already dinner time. And thank you all. We love you. And we um, pray for you. And thank you for those that are supporting. And those that are encouraging. And those that are praying. Whatever you give, it is unto the Lord. This is a ministry of God. It is called the kingdom of God is come unto you. And just as you bless the Lord, so shall he bless you. And I want to thank God for you, for your family, and for your little ones that they're coming home and they shall be saved. In Jesus' mighty name. Do you have anything else, man of God? No, man. God bless you. I don't know if you want to say hi. Greet our new friends, those that are new on the air. We have never seen them before. But praise be to God, man of God. You can we see Stacy Black. God bless you, woman of God. God bless you. And we see Glenn, Sister Glenn or Minister Glenn. Glenn Mind you finish cold. it. Yeah. Praise God. I saw Jane Eo that was online. I know Minister Glenn was online praise be to god and i thank god for my page and you know minister vassal and i both we do it because just in case you know sometimes the enemy likes to play tricks with the internet but we have the victory so if you jump off one you can jump on the other glory to god and so we have peaceful joy god is good Thank you. We have Nina. God bless you, Nina. We love you. We love you. Praise. I see a lot of new faces, Shelley man of God. Ziegler. I see Shelly Ziegler. We're praying with us online. And Minister Glenn, we're praying and standing with us for the ministry. God bless you and your families. God bless you, Nina. God Bay, I won't even say Bay Jati, we love you. God bless you to my dear cousin, my cousin, my second cousin, Latisha. Praise God. I am browsing, but sometimes it freeze. God bless you, Kendall. We love you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. And I'm praying for the Bagaloo lineage. Hallelujah. Um, I pray for Sonny. Sonny, um, praise God. I'm glad that Latisha. She is my niece, my sec, my first cousin daughter, and they're out in New York, America. And I saw my uncle, which is from the Bagaloo lineage, that I was praying for him and I was celebrating him. Because he's been a great uncle to me and my siblings while my father was alive. But I give honor to my uncle, Sonny Bagaloo, and for all the Bagaloo lineage. As you know, my father is a Bagaloo, but... His soul is at peace, and I thank God that is at rest, and I thank God for his life, and for all the aunts and the uncles, Auntie Maxine, Auntie Patsy, Auntie Beverly, all my relatives, I love you all, you know, from Jamaica. I thank God for you and for everyone, and also my mom's side, the Maitlands and um, the Green, thank God, and the Ellis. Thank you and all the lineages represented here. Those I see and we don't see, those that will be watching thereafter. We're praying for all. We're not selfish. When God shows up, we are praying for everyone, for our friends, for our family. And we're blessing. God bless our enemies too because if we never had enemies, then we wouldn't go in deeper with the Lord. God is good all the time and all the time God is good. I love you all. Take care. Man of God is the oven on. I smell chicken. I smell turkey. God is good. Bye. <laughs>